guys, it's Chris with 401 Beard Product Review, and this review is going to be on Rocking M Beards, uh, Beard Balm and Beard Oils, uh, Tea Tree, and uh, Pine. Uh, this guy's out of Ohio, which oddly enough, I'm starting to find that a ton of uh, manufacturers for beard products are out of Ohio, so that must be like the hotbed uh, in the United States for beard products. But this is Rocking M Beards, uh, they are on Facebook. They're also on Etsy. Um, they've got uh, a few different scents that on their website or on their Etsy site. Uh, again, this one is the Tea Tree and Pine. Um, this one uh, was a decent oil for me. <coughs> um, I say that because um, the scent was was okay. Um, I, I, I've smelled a lot of outdoorsy, woodsy, pine, cedar type smells. Um, what didn't put this over for me as a great oil was the amount of tea tree in it. Uh, and as I've spoken about before, you have to be careful with tea tree. It's great for cleaning your beard. It's great hygienic wise. Um, but it's not great for your beard uh, long term, I guess. And by that, it, it just seems to dry your beard out. Um, it clean, cleanses it very well. Um, can take away itch quickly, um, but over the course of hours and days of use of it, uh, to me it doesn't condition and moisturize uh, as well as others do um, because of the tea tree itself. So uh, with this product I, I gave it a 3.25 out of 5. Um, I think it's a decent beard oil. Um, I think some of their other ones will probably rate higher, uh, but this one in particular uh, just kind of missed the mark for me. Um, I think it's maybe an out of the shower if you were going to apply a beard oil uh, maybe after you wash your beard uh, two or three times a week which is kind of the most that you should. Um, I think that would good, be good to apply if you were going to you know dry your beard off, apply this and then maybe apply a, a beard balm afterwards. Uh, but it's not something that I would probably go back to myself, uh, and that's just my feelings towards it. So, uh, Rocking M Beards, again, you can check them out on Etsy, you can check them out on Facebook, they have other products, um, and those are probably, uh, based on this one, again, with the ingredients that the other ones have, those are probably rated a bit higher, uh, but this is the one that I was given, this is the one I'm reviewing this time, so 3.25 out of 5, that's the review, questions, comments, concerns, you know how to reach me, uh, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.